Hi you guys, it's Marcy. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I would come on and do a quick 10 minute makeup um, redo video. Um, I have one that I've done probably about a year ago and it's the same cosmetics I'm using. I may have added um, the brush stroke eyeliner, I think, and then changed the actual lip color, but they're both my go-tos. I switch between these two lipsticks every single day. The rest I do every single day, depending on how much time I have. Um, but this look you can get in about 10 minutes if I already have my eyebrows on my face, which today I did for you. So anyways, if you're interested in how you can achieve this look on your face with your everyday makeup, keep watching. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is um, apply your face cream, whatever face cream you use. And then I, I wait at least five minutes, that way it absorbs into my skin and I'm not just rubbing it around when I apply my foundation. So um, that's been done. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this side here. And then this is my everyday go-to makeup. I have another video on this process however uh, the lighting was pretty bad and so I figured I'd do an updated video and they've discontinued the original foundation I had been using for years and so all of these products are MAC Cosmetics they're my favorite I've been using them for years um, I will use other brands and such but these are just my go-to I found this line and I love it. So the first thing I start out with after my cream, my face cream, is my Studio Fix um, foundation. And this has a SPF of 15. I do poo, two, I do poo, I do two pumps on my finger. <laughs> I use my fingers because it's a lot quicker for me. I do two pumps on my finger, rub it in my face, and that's what we're gonna do. This takes about 10 minutes, and that is because I always have my eyebrows on, and when I don't, I'll I'll remove them. I use the, the this uh, Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel. It lasts two or three days. I'll remove them and reapply them, but since I already have them on, this morning I woke up and just put eyeballs on because I'm like, I'm not gonna do anything today. But then I decided, oh, I could totally do a makeup tutorial on my everyday look. So anyways, I just seriously rub this all in. This wears really nice. It's a full coverage. So, like so. Okay. It absorbs nice and it wears all day. Anyways, I love it. I go down on my neck a little bit. I know that there are a ton of different makeup products out there and everyone's gonna use what they wanna use and what they love, which is great. I love makeup and I truly believe that People should use what they love, not what they're talked into or buying stuff just because. So anyways, again, it's two pumps of Studio Fix foundation. Oh, the color I use is NC17, which um, anyways, it's in the more beige instead of instead of what am I trying to say, the ivory. And that's because I, I am fair skinned, however I tan. So in the summertime, my neck and shoulders and arms get way darker than my face. So then I just use a wipey to wipe it off. Okay. Phase one, done. Next, I do my eyes. And if you want a full version, like I said, I have a couple other videos showing everything I use, but these are my eye brushes I use. One, 
I use uh, Mary Kay brushes and I also use MAC brushes depending on what I want. Um, these two I am going to use today, these are actually the Mary Kay ones. So this is a really old one. It's probably 10 years old, if not older. And then these two, I recently just purchased, um, my friend sells Mary Kay, so I recently just purchased these from her. Um, and they're great, and I love them, and I use them every day. So to get started, the base color I use is called Satin Taupe. It's really pretty. You guys, I use this every day unless I, if I'm wearing something and I want to have hot pink lips, then I'll add purple. If I'm wearing browns, then I'll switch this color out for a brown. If I'm wearing reds, I still use this color. So it's a really good neutral color that can blend with many different colors you wear. So I just take this and I go on my eye like so. I'm going to try and do it facing you guys. Okay, like so. Next eye, and I just literally do two or three dabs and then next eye. It's so hard to do your makeup without holding your mouth open, but I'm gonna try. So basically, I just do that. Get the crease, I get the lid and just above the crease, okay? Then I take this brush and I just dip it in my brulee, which is a light under the brow cream color. And I just go under my brow like so. Then I take this Mary Kay brush. This is a crease brush. And I use my sketch, which is a deep purple and a little goes a long way. So I literally do two little dabs on the tip of the brush, and then I start at the corner of my eye, I go towards my eye, and then in the crease and wrap it around. Okay, like so. Do the same for this eye. Like so. Next, now that that's done, now I get my um, concealer, and this is Pro Long Wear, and this one is an ivory, it's NW20. Um, I use two different colors because I feel like uh, my face is naturally and always lighter than the ne my neck and shoulders and arms and everything, so I feel like it balances me out. I have the beige into my skin, which doesn't, it matches my skin tone, but it doesn't necessarily match the true color of my face. So I use one pump on my finger and I do it in my T-zone and that is with my concealer. So I dab it there, 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 and here, and then I rub it in. Again, I use everything with my finger because that's just how I prefer to do it. I feel like I waste a lot of product using brushes or the uh, the beauty blender blobber things. I have them, I just choose not to use them. So then I just blend it down like that. Go around my eye around the crease of my nose, and then just blend it down my cheekbone. Here, I bring this down in between my eyebrows, up over my eyebrows, and then just blend it up. Like so, and then my nose. I like a full coverage because I have um, red, a lot of red in my face and I also have some freckles. And so I like the full coverage to kind of um, hide all of that. And it protects my um, skin from the sun because I will get 
sunburned really bad on my face if I don't have it covered and protected. So, and everything I use has SPF in it. Well, as far as my face cream goes, and then my um, foundation also has a little bit in it. So I get a pretty good coverage for my face. So after I do that, I take my uh, crease brush again and I just blend it to fix anything I smeared or need to fix with, uh, you know, if I smeared anything while doing my concealer. Yep, and I just make sure they're even, which they are. Okay, like so. Then I take this little tiny brush. This is a MAC brush. Uh, the number's 228, but it's super tiny. And I use this for the underneath of my eye. So I go in with my original base color, which was satin taupe, and I go along the entire bottom of my eye. So I just get this and I dip the corner like three times, and then whatever corners I on, I go like this. Just rub it all the way across. And then I do the same thing. I dip the other corner and go in from the corner. If you guys have watched my other video, you'll have to tell me if the lighting in this one is better because you know all these fancy youtubers they have all sorts of contraptions they use to film awesome videos and i'm just an average person you know just trying to make some videos share the love of products i use but um anyways okay now that that's done next i move on to my eyeliner this is the Brush Black Brush Stroke 24 Hour Liner. It's awesome, it's my favorite. If I'm in a true hurry, then I just use my engraved PowerPoint eye pencil um, around my entire eye. But today I will show you my Brush Stroke one. I hope that you guys can see this. I'm gonna tilt my my robe is in my way. Let me hang this down here. Okay. So I'm going to use my mirror right here and I hope, I hope you guys can see this, but I'm going to start at the edge. I do a little peek outside of my eye. And then I go all the way around. Can you guys even see this over my hand? Probably not. Let me try and use the front. But basically, I, I wrap my entire eye. And I do it all the way down to the root of my lashes. So I hope you guys can see that. Now I'm gonna do this eye. Maybe you'll be able to see this eye better. Do the line. This is considered a liquid eyeliner. there and now what I do when I'm done with that I just go in and I do the a, a fine line underneath because then I go in with my and I basically I'm just doing this like on the hairline of my bottom lashes Okay, like so. And then I kind of feel like I have bug eyes, so I don't, I don't know if this helps at all, but I get my uh, engraved PowerPoint eye pencil and I kind of color in the bottom um, water line of my eye. I feel like it helps them appear to be a little smaller than they really are. I don't know if it works. 
So I literally just take this, run it in my water line, and this does not hurt. Just don't use a dull pencil because then it will hurt. You'll scratch your eye out. Okay. So that's that. Then I take my Hot Naughty Two Black Fast Lash, that's a mouthful, um, of mascara. It's got the dual tips, so you can either um, pull it through this vault here and it will come out finer, less product on it. I never do. I always just use it as, you know, one wand in itself. This is getting old. So I'm ready to change it out. However, we're going camping and we haven't been going anywhere. So I've just been using this, which, you know, I already have a new one purchased, probably two in there. I just use them for as long as I can. Do a quick coat of mascara. I already had a little bit on from this morning. Again, I wasn't planning on doing anything or going anywhere. Okay, so now I've done my top. Now I'm going to do the bottom. And this is seriously how I do my makeup every day. These colors go with everything I wear. Next, I get my blush brush. This is a MAC brush. The number on this one is 168. I have one for blush and the same brush I use for shimmer and stuff, which I'm going to do all of that today just to show you. But my go-to blush is called Plum Foolery. It's a very pretty color. I've been wearing this one for years. I just rebuy the same color. I have other colors too, but this is seriously my favorite. So rub it in like so. I love me some blush. My dogs are barking, which means someone is probably at my front door. Then I get my big old powder brush. This is MAC 150. The powder I use, which I found out is discontinued, they've also changed this. So next time I buy, I'm gonna have to find another one, but it's just a medium dark studio pressed care blend is what it's called. Um, so I just literally, I take the flat side, I dab it twice, I go around dab it once, go around once, and that's that. Then my shimmer, I got this one years ago. This is the Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. It's almost gone, but this stuff lasts forever. Just a super nude, but I will go down here on my nose, my lip, my chin, and then like around my eyebrow and on top of my bra, on top of my blush, yes, on top of my cheekbones, like so. And then this is like my new favorite thing. This is by MAC also. It separates, but it's, you just gotta shake it up. There's a, some sort of titanium or steel ball in there. You just shake it up. And this puts like a Huey Dewey, like do look on your skin. It's really pretty. Okay, so this I'll just do probably one, probably two or three squirts. Okay, here we go. Just two. So, and I don't know if you can see that, but I love it. It's pretty. Last but not least is my lips, my everyday go-to lipstick. Where are you? Right here. It's sore, so pretty, so pretty. It looks a lot darker on camera, but it's not. So I just take this. If you, oh, if you are worried about um, lips, like if your lips bleed or anything, um, it's pretty much a matte and it doesn't happen to me the only time. I use this, it's a prep and prime for lips. I put it on the outer edge of my lips, top and bottom. And this is used, I'll do this when I do like a hot pink or a red or anything like that. But for every day, 
I don't need to. I just use my lip liner and lipstick and I'm good to go. Just line the lips. Now I have two go-to lipsticks. This one is called Brave, which I normally wear every day. However, if I want a, a little bit of a lighter lip color than my liner, then I use this, it's called Sending Love. And it's really pretty also. It's with this nude set that I bought. So it goes really pretty with this nude. It's a gorgeous combination. I think I have that linked in one of my videos, but. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this, um, which one is this one? Sending Love today. Like so. Yeah. And there you have it. Um, if I need to, I will take this fine. It's a Bobbi Brown. I, 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 not eyeshadow, um, eyebrow brush. And I will take my Studio Fix and I will touch up my eyebrows if I need to, which I see I need to do here and here in the corner. So I just take this and I dab an itty bitty of the gel off and then I'll come in and fix it. I bet eyebrows can be really hard and annoying. Um, but you got to have them, I guess. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Can you see what I'm doing? Probably not. I'm so sorry. I am not a professional. Anyways, you just have to remember that eyebrows are sisters. They're not twins. So you get them as close as you can to being even as possible. And then that's it. That's as good as it gets. And people just have to deal with your eyebrows. <laughs> so anyways, there you have it. That is my, normally what takes me 10 minutes. Um, just an updated quick video for any of, any of you who wanted to see it. I've had a couple comments about it. So anyways, it's quick. It's easy. I love the MAC line. It's awesome. And those are my top of the line favorite makeup products. Again, I use those every single day. And then I throw in a color here and there um, occasionally. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.